Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had some questions from several viewers about cell phones, if they were worth scrapping, what type of gold or gold recovery you can get from them. So that's what I want to focus on today. The nice thing about cell phones is everybody has them, so you could potentially find them quite often on garbage day. I have found several uh, on the side of the road, I found some in blue boxes. Um, when I was actually working back in university at the recycling company, we had cell phones coming up the line all the time. People didn't know how to get rid of them. They thought they were recyclable. So as I said, you can find them quite often. As well, the nice thing is, is once I remove the gold out of here, I can bring the rest of them into the scrapyard and get e-waste price. Or you could, if that is not an option, you could also drop them off at different electronic depots and they will take the rest of it and we can keep them out of the landfill. So that is definitely a good option as well. I have had some people comment as well that you can sell these online whole. Some phone companies and other companies will buy them depending on the brand, the model, the year it was made. Uh, and that is definitely one option as well. But I do want to address the question of scrapping here. So here we go. Uh, you can see I do have two types of phones. I have my old school flip phones here. Actually, one of these was my wife's way back in the day. I do have the slide phone. Many of uh, my older viewers, were, viewers would remember these ones. Your Blackberries had the great big keypad. But these ones, these were all the rage back in the, I believe, early 2000s. Uh, I did not have one. Uh, I still had a flip phone up until uh, maybe 10 years ago. So um, my technology was definitely slow on the uptake, but these are a great source of scrappable material. And I am just going to focus on this one first. But as you can see, this one, it does have right here underneath the backing, there is some gold that you can see on that blue circuit board there. There are as well some really nice gold pins here. Um, this one... The other thing, here's another of the style, the flip phone, you can see right in there, there are definitely a number of gold-plated pins as well on this one. And the one that I want to focus on is this one, just to open it up there. The nice thing is it did have the battery. These batteries do have a little bit of gold in them as well. I actually will not um, crimp the top of that to get that gold off. I will just store these up, bring them in to um, the scrapyard. Uh, because there is, you know, the toxins in here, they could explode. Um, and I definitely don't want the stuff inside of here uh, to seep into the water system or what have you. So these, as I said, because they have a little bit of gold on them, are worth a little bit more than your um, batteries. These are not going to be the same category as household batteries. Okay, these are your electronic batteries. Um, another option, I have seen some people sell these online as well. Places like boardsort.com will buy different things that have gold in it, especially your circuit boards. Um, so that is definitely an option. But as I said, I definitely do not want to open this and I definitely want to keep this out of the landfill and water system. Um, but as I said, there is a little bit of gold on the tip of that. Uh, it does say rechargeable, uh, lie-on battery. Um, so may explode, damaged, exposed of fire, so do not short circuit. So as I said, don't want to be tempting with these, but uh, nice little battery here. Inside, for this, because these are smaller, this is where my L key set. This is a security set that I use all the time. I've referenced this a lot. These sets are specifically made. Um, microwaves use these a lot. Um, you know, manufacturers will put special types of screws on um, different things to keep um, people out. They have a type of star or nub inside of the screw. Um, and for these screws, you can see right up top here, there are two small ones. There are no security screws, but I am using this because they are small. You can use just regular Allen keys, very, very small ones. Um, I actually had to work at this one a little bit because this has been in my closet for several years and the screws have actually um, kind of become dust filled. But there's my little screw. These screws are going to be going into my uh, scrap. Um, they are 
magnetic. Um, so I just throw them into my tin, but just gonna remove the back panel here. You can see even on that side, there is some really nice gold pin on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this face plate off. Try and pop this up. And I'm gonna try and work at the back. Get this last screw out. There's another screw here. Let me pull that one out. Okay, and now that the battery's out of this, this is very light, um, but just gonna pull this face plate. Here's the other nice thing is because it's small, you're gonna want little small screwdrivers and little small <laughs> different um, pieces of equipment. But just gonna pop this face plate up here. You can see there is opening that. And it doesn't matter if I break open the circuit board, um, it will come out, but there is even on here a several little small gold pins at the top here you can see that I have to remove. I'm just gonna pull that out right here. So this is a small little piece that came off. You can see those gold plated pins and it does have plastic around it. All I'm actually gonna do to get these out is just, I can actually use my fingers to get these ones. Uh, but I do have very small pliers Okay, but I'm just going to pull this one out. You can see in my hand here, pull it up to the camera. Where is my camera? There is, right there in the palm of my hand, there is a gold pin. You can see those. Those are gold plated. Almost looks like a sliver, if you will. And all I do is I will put these into my vial here. And as you can see, here is a nice little collection of gold pins I already have. These gold pins don't only come from cell phones. They also come out of my different um, um, uh, computer jacks, if you will, phone jacks. All of them are gonna be gold plated. All of them will be worth money. And um, you can see right here, this is very simple. There is my uh, chip, if you will, my circuit board. And because this has a lot of gold on it, if I turn around, you can actually see inside there's the gold. If I remove this piece of paper, uh, I might have to work at it, but you can see the gold right there. This is actually going to be a high-grade circuit board and Some people will actually just bring these into the, uh, the scrapyard and get high-grade circuit board price For me because I go to a scrapyard southwestern Ontario um, Some will have them so you definitely want to check but the one I go to only has one category for circuit boards uh, they just put them all into the same category. So something like this that has gold on it, you are going to make a lot more money selling it online. As I said, BoardSort.com is an American company. They have all types of different circuit boards on their website that you can compare and get the prices for. Um, for me, as I said, because it has a lot of nicer gold pins, look at those nice gold pins here. I actually will extract as many of them as I can. Uh, and all I'm going to do, as I said, is take just a pair of needle nose pliers. Just going to grab one of those. Okay. And I'm just going to actually, you can see right there, just pull it right out. There you go. I'm just grabbing it. It's coming right out. And I'm going to bend it. There you go. Okay. Comes off the top. Look at that nice gold pin. Where's my camera? So that is gold plated, that pin here. This is going to go obviously into my container back here and again as I said all of these do add up you might not think they do but again here's another one I have just gonna pull it out okay there's another gold pin put that in there want to make sure I get all of them okay a little bit of plastic but again there are other spots right here these little gold pins as well look at those nice gold pins there those I'm gonna pull off as well uh, as well as the little chips here, these chips as well have a nice little gold plating on them. Uh, and once I remove these gold pins, as well as these ones, or these little chips and these gold pins, the rest of this circuit board, I'm actually going to throw in with my flat screen uh, gold circuit board um, um, panels. Just a second, I'm going to pull it out. Okay, these ones, these are more of your gold 
As you can see, these are a nice circuit board. These all come out of flat screens. That's why I love flat screens. They have been replaced with the CRT uh, TVs, had the big cone of copper. These ones have now have a really nice circuit board full of gold plated pins. So these two, I collect these. I will bring these um, you know, to uh, boardsort.com. Definitely, I don't wanna bring these to my uh, scrap yard where I take them because they will just give me low grade or um, one grade for it and it's about five cents a pound. So with the price of uh, gold right now, definitely gold is something I will continue to collect uh, and hopefully, you know, as it continues to rise, build up that um, supply and keep going with it. So any type of gold chips like this, save them up. Do not bring them into your scrap yard. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully you can build up that as well. Um, I still have right here a couple more pins that I have to get. Once I open this, okay, there is a small bit of that circuit board that I'm still going to get. But the nice thing about this rest of this phone is the rest of this, because it does have some recycled materials in the screen or uh, and inside of here, I actually will just bring this in and get e-waste price. If I put a magnet to it, there is a little bit of magnetic attraction, um, but I don't wanna put this into my tin because there is, as I said, other stuff on here that can be further um, uh, grinded down and recycled. But very simple, as I said, you wanna get these pins. Here's another type of pin. I'm just gonna pull it out. There are your pins. And I will, once I remove it, just put it right into my container. So same thing with this flip phone here or slide phone. Uh, once I remove, there's teeny tiny screws you can see there. And I do have a very small, small uh, screwdriver. I might actually have to go even further down, get the smaller one. Oh, it's coming. There we go. Okay, pull the back off. Okay, and you can find these little tools uh, at Canadian Tire, so it's not hard to do. Um, but again, there is some really nice gold pins that I want to get as well. Get those out. The rest of it, as I said, you can bring it in as e-waste. Uh, they're not heavy, but definitely they do come from, you know, uh, the garbage a lot. And especially with these older styles, people are getting rid of them, upgrading, um, you know. So wanted to look at that for those viewers. Uh, short video. Hopefully it was helpful. But yes, there is some good gold-plated pins inside of these phones. Um, great place there. Your phone jacks, as I said, your internet cable connectors, all those nice gold pins. Collect those up. Boardsort.com, as I said, will buy gold-plated pins separate at one price. They will buy circuit boards with gold on them at a different price. So definitely, if, you can, if that's an option, you can check that out. Uh, other people have sold these things online. Uh, you could do that avenue, Kijiji, eBay. People are buying retro things. Uh, the other nice thing for me, because I am in a school, once I remove as much as I can, I could actually save them up as well once I remove the goodies. And I can actually use them in some of my JK classrooms. I have some of them that actually use their these old cell phones um, as playtime. So definitely better than the landfill. But for me, I definitely want to get that gold out of there first. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.